A few weeks ago, two different events occurred which helped me to realize I need to replace my front brakes. While visiting Uluwatu, I was riding the bike up a steep incline and approaching an intersection, so I had to stop in order to wait on traffic to come by. While doing so, I put my feet down and tried to hold the bike with the front brake only. Unfortunately, the factory brakes on this bike weren't strong enough to hold the weight of the bike on that much of an incline. The front wheel rolled backwards and the entire bike moved downhill. Luckily, there was no one behind me and I was able to release the clutch, give it some gas, the intersection was clear, and proceed on my way. The second incident is a little embarrassing because I'm sure it was avoidable. However, I was making a U-turn on a road and there was sand at the edge of the road on the opposite side where I was gonna make a stop. The brakes in the factory never did feel right to me. It seems that I always had to pull a lot harder than what you would expect in order to bring the bike to a stop. So, as I attempted to stop the bike, the front tire was in the sand. The brakes didn't seem to be catching, so I pulled a little bit harder, the front wheel locked up, and I dropped the bike. Later that evening, I did a lot of research and decided what kind of brake upgrade I wanted to do with this bike. I decided to go with the Brembo 15 RCS Master Cylinder and the Brembo P4 3034 Titanium with four pistons and carbon ceramic pads. In addition to the master cylinder and the calipers, I also decided it would be best to add braided brake lines to both the front and the rear brakes. One of the advantages is the fact that the lever folds up in the event of a crash so you can push it back down and still ride your bike away. Another nice feature is the thumb screw. As you turn it, you can adjust the distance between the grip and the lever to accommodate various hand sizes. The lever ratio is also adjustable between 18 and 20. I prefer 18 because it seems to have a better feel. Uh, however, if you want something a little more aggressive, go with the 20. In order to make the change, you just pull the rubber grommet out, insert a screwdriver of the proper size, and turn it. Once you hear the audible click, you know you've made the adjustment. Now, it does not come with a fluid reservoir or the adapter to mount it, so you will have to buy these separately. The P4 3034 calipers have four pistons, two at 30 millimeters and two at 34 millimeters. They're CNC hard anodized axial calipers and come equipped with carbon ceramic pads. Based on my research, changing the calipers was probably not a necessary upgrade. It's more likely that the improved braking performance I'm experiencing now is a result of the braided brake lines and the upgraded master cylinder. However, I like the way the calipers look, so I decided to go ahead and purchase them. If you want to save money, I would suggest starting with better brake pads then braided brake lines, and perhaps upgrade that master cylinder as well. Physics dictates the majority of your braking comes from your front brakes. In short, this is because the braking occurs below the center of mass. Therefore, it's very important to have high quality brakes tuned to properly serve your riding style and conditions. If you get on the internet and you type in best brakes for your motorcycle, chances are Brembo is gonna dominate the search results. And that's because Brembo has become synonymous with quality brake systems. I've been riding for a little over two months and about 1,500 kilometers since installing this new brake system on my CB150X. My final opinion of everything I installed is positive. The brake master cylinder is fantastic. I was able to set up the RCS15 to achieve the exact feel and performance I wanted and I have zero regrets with my decision to purchase it. One more note I think is worth mentioning. The RCS Brake Master Cylinder does come with a brake light switch harness, but you may need to splice the wires to get it to work with your bike. So if you're comfortable doing that kind of work, you're good at soldering, then yeah, go for the install yourself. But I chose to have a professional do the work for a couple reasons. One, I just moved to Indonesia a year ago and I don't have very many tools at all. And the second reason, this is for the brakes on my motorcycle. I don't wanna make any mistakes. As I had mentioned earlier, I may not have needed to install the calipers, but whatever you decide to do with your bike, talk with a professional to be sure your master cylinder and calipers are properly matched with each other and your bike. And with that said, I'm very happy with my new Brembo calipers. When it comes to brake lines, the standard rubber lines work fine, but you'll get a much better feel, you know, no squish, if you use braided brake lines. This is because the rubber lines will expand some as you apply the brakes, and this is what causes that squishy feeling as you lose a little pressure from the rubber lines expanding. And that's the main reason I had the braided brake lines installed. Now, my bike does not have an anti-lock brake system, so the cost of installing the braided brake lines wasn't too high. But if your bike does have an anti-lock brake system, there's a lot more plumbing involved, and it's gonna cost a lot more. If you still want it done, I would definitely recommend you have a professional do the work. In my next video, I'll be going over a lot of the other modifications I've done to this bike so that you can have a better idea of what you might want to do to yours. Thanks for watching my channel. Ride safely.